Hey guys, welcome to another electric unicycle and gadget review and today I'm very very excited to show you version 3.0 of my DIY electric unicycle stand. Previously, I've uh, created two videos on the DIY uh, electric unicycle stand. The first iteration of my uh, V1.0 electric unicycle stand, it is uh, based on drilling holes into the trolley so that I can actually attach these uh, roller blade wheels on the trolley handlebar. Uh, this is based on an uh, inspiration photograph that I've uh, seen online uh, taken by the Wheelies, uh, the largest electric unicycle group in Singapore. And uh, credit goes to them. So then, then I slowly uh, you know, modify this idea into uh, using a Velcro or double-sided uh, tape to tape two piece of wood to stick on to the electric unicycle but I find that a little bit unstable uh, because if you knock onto something or simply drop the electric unicycle um, the, the two pieces on the side will just come off which is not optimum so I remove it for a while and now I've come up with a uh, version 3.0 okay so what's the difference between this version 3.0 is that I have attached um, another piece of wood to, uh, to the two piece of wood at the side um, using a door hinge a door hinge basically just drill through and then just uh, put the screws in and because of the center piece of wood it will actually pull on whichever direction so using strong velcros I, I managed to stick onto the side and the front of the electric unicycle um, I, I use door hinge instead of a fixed uh, elbow the reason why is because the electric unicycle is a little bit uh, slanted uh, v-shaped instead of a, a straight uh, right angle so you use a door hinge you can actually slant it sideways a little bit and then stick on the velcros uh, at first yes you do look a little bit weird with uh, pieces of wood on the side of the electric unicycle but if you put on um, some paddings which you can see all the black paddings I've already placed to cover up the wires for my DIY lights uh, it is very simple to cover it up I do not have enough uh, black paddings at this moment but I'm gonna buy more to cover up the side so that the no pieces of wood will be visible on the naked eyes but after a few tests drop it and you know you just stand on its own <laughs> park your electric unicycle anywhere you want while you are shopping or whatever you just park right there and it will just stand alone right there uh, without you touching so basically that concludes my DIY electric unicycle uh, don't stand for any electric unicycle basically because it does not affect any part of your electric unicycle functions you will not scrap on the floors if you do tight turns and all that and uh, the weave of it is just nice the same as your electric unicycle which is awesome <laughs> thank you very much for watching sign this video have a nice day see ya bye bye